Welcome to an overview of the Carry Free product line, also known as CTX, which stands for Carry's Treatment. When understanding this disease and explaining it to patients, the easiest way to look at it is in terms of a balance between risk and protective factors. A patient's level of risk is determined by how their particular combination of these items affects their oral environment. With every single patient you see, whatever is going on in their mouth is a result of this balance between their disease indicators, their risk factors, and whatever protective factors they have. And it's our job to find out what protective factors and treatment products each patient needs to outweigh their level of risk and keep their balance in check. The star figure you see is what we call the CTX guide. This guide provides a standard way to quickly assess all anti-caries products based on their contents. We know there are five recommended treatment components prescribed for caries management and that help change our patient's balance. The five treatment components are pH neutralization, broad spectrum antibacterial therapy, fluoride, xylitol, and nanohydroxyapatite, or forms of calcium and phosphate for remineralization support. Each product is given a score based on the number of these five components they contain. You will notice all of our products contain xylitol. They also have an increased pH ranging from 8 to 11. This is one of the biggest differences between carry-free products and any other product on the market. So you can see the three main products listed here with the appropriate components highlighted for each one. It's also on the packaging of the product, which makes it convenient for you and the patient. So we're going to walk through each, starting with the CTX4 treatment rinse. Now this is the one that usually comes with the most questions. First, it's named the CTX4 rinse because it contains four out of the five components, which you can see highlighted on the screen, and again, it's also on the packaging of the product. Now the main purpose of this particular rinse is the antibacterial component, and it will only be prescribed to patients with a high biofilm challenge. One of the things to note about this rinse is that the antibacterial agent we are using is sodium hypochlorite, so it's a bleach solution, and in turn it has a pretty unusual taste. Now I call it unusual because it isn't the worst thing in the world, but it's not the best either. You will get a varied response from your patients, and I just recommend that everyone tries it before prescribing it to patients. Be very upfront and honest with them about the taste. Next is the CTX4 Gel 5000. It also has four out of the five necessary components, which you can see highlighted on the screen. However, the difference is that this does not contain the antibacterial component. Instead, it contains nanohydroxyapatite, a form of calcium and phosphate for remen support. The gel is included in each kit, which we'll cover in just a moment, and is used as a toothpaste replacement. And last but not least, the CTX3 rinse. Name that because it contains three out of the five necessary components, which, again, you can see highlighted on this screen. And the biggest difference from this rinse and the CTX4 rinse is that this one does not contain the antibacterial component. So here you can see the four different CTX kits. As far as the kits go, try not to get too hung up on the numbers. Just know the higher the number, the higher the level of therapy the kit contains. And each kit contains a three-month supply of products. As far as instructions go, each kit contains an insert with the proper instructions for product use. Now if you compare, you will notice there are conflicting instructions on the products themselves versus the instructions on the insert, and that's because the products are labeled for individual sale. The instructions on the insert are the most effective and the ones we want patients to follow, not the instructions on the product. In addition to the treatment line of products, there are also a few adjunct products. Each is named and given a score based on the number of components they contain. The first adjunct product is the CTX2 spray. It contains xylitol and has an elevated pH of 9. The spray can be added to your treatment regimen or can be used as a standalone product. It's helpful for patients experiencing dry mouth symptoms or those that frequently snack or drink acidic beverages. Next is the CTX2 xylitol gum. It contains xylitol and also has an elevated pH. Again, it can be added to your treatment regimen or can be used as a standalone product. It is also helpful for patients experiencing dry mouth symptoms or those that frequently snack or drink acidic beverages. And lastly are the CTX1 lollies with xylitol. These are a great alternative to either the spray or the gum or for patients interested in a healthier candy option. 
You can find additional information on our product line at carryfree.com. If you have any questions or would like to place an order, please contact us at 866-928-4445.